This video is a continuation of the grading discussion for T-Learn. Um, this time we're going to talk about a sort of extra add-on feature um, of the grading tools, and that is the rubrics tool. So we'll go over how to set up your rubric um, and then also how to grade with it once the students have turned assignments in. Um, the timestamps will be in the description and you can always like to let us know if this was useful to you and subscribe to be kept in the loop for new videos. Thanks! So I have my assignment set up here and the first thing I need to do is to tell T-Learn how I want to grade. So you can do this when you're initially setting up the assignment, but if you change your mind or decide later for whatever reason that you want to do something different, um, you can do it by coming to the edit settings and coming to the section that says grade. Now it defaults to points based grading um, and gives you this little thing here. Um, but what you want actually for setting up your rubric is the grading method. So that's simple direct grading for the default, and we want to change this to rubric. So you're still going to be setting up a system of points, but you'll be um, getting those points from the rubric that you set up. So we're going to save. Take me back to the start. So when you come, when you once you save it, you um, will come back to the assignment itself and the editing menu. And down here, under advanced grading, it's got define rubric. So that's what we want to do. So we want to come here and give it a name. You don't have to give it a description unless you want to. And then it's pretty easy. Um, overall to put a rubric together. You basically just click and edit what you want it to say. And you don't have to worry about sticking to the number that they give you or the points that they give you. You can always add And again, you can also change the number of points. So we have your scale now. Now this section is where you add your criteria. So you have your different criteria now. As you can see, it's automatically populated everything with the points. And then to actually add descriptions to each of these things so they know why they got a needs work, you again just come in and click and you can edit the different descriptions. Down here in the options is basically just a list of how you want this to show up for you and for your students. So I've got mine ascending, let's say I want it to be descending, I've saved a draft now. So now I've got excellent over here and it goes down from there. We're going to edit. So you can always go back and edit it if you save it and you're like, oops, forgot something or um, need to add details to a specific description, anything like that, you can always go back and edit it. Um, and then down here, um, this is just basically asking, 
do you want them to know how they're going to be graded? When do you want T-Learn to display it? Um, and also down here, this one is allow grader to add text remarks. Um, and that's just for you when you're grading, you can still add comments. So we're gonna save the rubric and make it ready. Oh goodness, so I'm not going to make you uh, watch me do this. One second, please. Okay, so after a quick copy paste, we've got some definitions um, and going to add that in there. So we've got our definitions in and as a quick note, um, just briefly on the points, uh, I generally keep my rubric simple and so it's 15 points for each category all the way down if you get top marks, um, as you can see here. But you don't have to do that. So let's say that for you, um, the delivery is kind of the least important thing on their paper and you want the points to only be 10. seven, five, and zero, for example, you can definitely still do that. So you can have these different levels of things, um, or you can just set, set them at the top and have it the same all the way down. It's up to you. So now we're going to save this and make it ready. And that means it's ready to go, ready to use. There we go. So now we have our nice new rubric. Now what does this look like if we go to grade our assignments, for example? So if I go to view all submissions, I've got uh, Katie pulled up here, right now she doesn't have anything, but if I go to grade, then we have our rubric over here. Now obviously um, for me, I'm uh, working on a smaller screen, but you can also uh, collapse the different panels. Um, so you can read through it, collapse the panels. Over here is where you can actually type in comments. So uh, if you give them whatever points they get, it's just a clickable rubric here, and, but you have some things that you want to give in terms of feedback here, you can do that as well all the way down. There's a scroll bar too, so if you do have those comments to make, you can scroll over and see the whole thing. Um, and then you can open this back up so you can always toggle between the different screens so that you can see what you need to see. So once you click all of these things, let me just go through and click um, some of these. Get everything. Yep. Once I click everything and save changes, we've got our graded submission here with the current grade that was earned now at the bottom that you can see. So that's how you build and use a rubric. It does take a little time to set up, but once you get it going and get the um, mechanisms working and defined the way you want, it's pretty quick. And if you already have rubrics set up, then it's a quick copy paste um, as I did when I had to add in the different definitions. Um, so hopefully this is helpful. Um, and if you have any questions about building rubrics or anything um, in terms of grading through T-Learn, please do send me an email at academictechnology at trinity.edu and I would be happy to help you. Thanks for watching.